one thing is for certain, you need to eat three times a day. So no matter what changes, you have to still produce it. That's something very important. We diversify crops from leaves to roots to animals. We have a lot of challenges through the years. For example, on Hurricane Maria, we must got swapped out, not only with our production, but also the farmers around. So we had some earthquakes in here in the south of the island that also affect our economy. Then the pandemic came. The difference between Maria and the pandemic was that on Maria, we didn't have any production or anything at all. On the pandemic, we did have the production, but we just need to change the channels of moving that merchandise. So we start delivering to houses and ghost kitchen, and we were able to adjust in a period of two weeks to be able to maintain the farmers producing. Changing the logistics was a challenge, but at least we have the production. That's what we try to push, saying that if you have that production locally, the points of sale switch or, or change. For example, all the restaurants were closed for a while, so we had to move into East Gold Kitchen, a new movement of restaurants, which is now some of them are gonna stay and also to deliver to residents. I don't wanna say what's coming next, cause I'm afraid. <laughs> but every time you learn a test, they change the answer. We're very, very excited and looking forward that more people are come to see what we are doing and also replicating what, what we're doing. Instead of 100 farmers, we have a 1,000 farmers working at different communities. We benefit each part of the location, not only the island, but in Puerto Rico, we hope that some more people do what we are doing so people can go into their farms and start purchasing directly from the, the benefit. As far as the nutritional facts, the cost will be lower, the production will be better, the farmers can grow more things with more confident that they're going to be purchased. And the benefit goes all across the board. We also have another lot that we're gonna be seeing. So total, we probably have about an acre, but we divide that into different segments. We do comestible flowers, microgreens, hydroponics. We do crops directly to soil, such as radishes, zanahorias. We also work with small rumians, which we import about 97% of those small rumians to Puerto Rico, and the benefit is great. We do cajeta, we sell to different restaurants, and they use that milk for different processes. We also got chips for meat. We have have rabbits also and we try to incorporate animals that can adapt to our diversified location we don't have anything against cows or you know, but it's way bigger than what we are working with we also do herbs in here such as cilantro recao all this puerto rican spirit for our food you know it's the sofrito which is like the most important thing that we that we have